great A love so bold Consuming all I know My burning heart And ready soul You're calling me home Let your love break out, break out Let your word shine bright, shine bright Your fire burn To, you can join in from home. What do they need to join in the game today? Spaghetti and what's that? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. So what? go and raid your cupboards at home. If you have spaghetti and marshmallows, you can join in this challenge with us, okay? You can just pause this video and then come back and join us. So you guys are gonna go head to head, use your spaghetti and marshmallows to build a house, okay? I want you to see who can get maybe the biggest or the best house. And are you ready? We're gonna do a countdown, yeah? Yeah. Okay, here we go, everyone. Count down with me in three, two, one, build! Okay. I wanna make a triangle. <laughs> uh, I wanna make a pyramid. Matthew is gonna start by making a pyramid. Um, Sophia, what about you? I'm gonna make a big cube first. A cube, okay, so Sophia's going for structure here. <laughs> That's structure. good. Matthew's got started though, the marshmallows are mm -hmm. acting like the glue holding this together. That's looking good, Matt. Here we go. <laughs> this is looking good. So we've got foundations being built right now. I wonder, have you guys ever played this game before? This is quite fun. I wonder what you've created. If you guys get the chance, send in your pictures of your creations so that we can see your houses and dens that you've built as well. Are you going for a tower? Yep. Are you going for it? Yeah, we're going for a height over here. Matthew, this is looking like a good foundation. Cool, it's going to look strong. Whoa. Sophia, you <laughs> yours is looking a little wobbly. Do you want me to hold this? Yeah, thank you. 
<laughs> the marshmallows are quite heavy on this spaghetti. Oh, it's gonna be huge. Okay, it's gonna be big. You're doing great. I Keep need going. Help me. <laughs> yeah, shall I hold this? Okay, fine. Looking good. Matthew, you're like a professional. He's like changing the length of the spaghetti and everything. It's gonna look good. He has experience. <laughs> Sophia, well done. I <laughs> this is looking very funny. Do I need to hold one side? Okay. Oh gosh, I love so gonna... something. That's okay. So I need to hold this. <laughs> you guys are doing great. <laughs> okay. Will it stand, Sophia? Will it stand? No. I don't think so. Not yet. Matthew, yours is looking pretty strong so far. I've got to say, do you need me to hold this for a sec? I need to stop making my Who do you think is going to win you guys at home? Oh, yeah. Ah, Matthew, this is looking good. Oh, Sophia, he's putting you to shame right now. <laughs> this is looking good. This is looking like we've gone to Egypt. Oh, yeah. This is like a pure pyramid here. Like okay, I think the time's yeah. ticking, Sophia. You're going to no. have to. I don't mind. Oh, Matthew has finished. Oh, no. And he's won the game. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well done, Matthew. That is looking awesome. That's looking looking uh, pretty strong. So it's, Sophia, it's it's, it's <laughs> yours is looking. You just made a cute. Oh, uh, uh, Sophia has broken. Well, that's okay. Today we have been uh, playing around, seeing if we can build houses and structures and things. And I've got a photo to show you here. So if you can look closely, I want to show you this picture here. So what does this look like to it's, you? It's like a ruined house. A like, ruined house? So this is a ruined no, house? Um, no, people didn't live in it for so long. <laughs> people haven't lived in it for ages. It Sophia, what do you think? Well, kind of. It's like abandoned. Run down. Abandoned. abandoned. Abandoned, it's run down. Okay, if you imagined that you were gonna take a night's sleep in this house, maybe you're gonna have a sleep over there. Do you think that you would sleep really well in this house? No. Nah. No. With friends, maybe. <laughs> With friends, maybe, but I don't know about you guys, but that looks like it could fall down at any minute. And it let, there's kind of like lots of gaps and holes and things. I think the wind could get in and the oh. rain. I don't think you guys would feel very safe in that, right? <laughs> so, I want you to imagine that this house is like a picture of our lives. So, whoever's built this house, has maybe tried to build it in their own strength. They've tried to do it without any help, okay? And there's flaws in the house, isn't there? So I want you to think about it as if it's your life. If you're building your life without God's help, this is what your life could look like, okay? It could look empty. It could look like it's gonna fall down or crumble away. And it might not be a place where you could rest or find peace. But who wants to see the house that God built? Yeah, you went for it? Okay. Da, 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 da. This is the house that God would build. <laughs> now, this doesn't mean that if you're a Christian, you get to live in a mansion, okay? God might bless you with a mansion. You might be watching Kids Church Online from a mansion right now, and that's awesome. <laughs> but this is the kind of house God would build. So if your life was built with God, and God was guiding you, and he was giving you strength to go through each day of your life, your life would be stronger. It would be more peaceful, right? If you imagined sleeping in this house, how would you feel? More warm and safe. Warm and safe. Matt, how would you feel in this house? Um, safe and peaceful. Peaceful and safe, amazing. And it's got strong foundations. So if it was windy or rainy, do you think any of it would get inside? No. No, no. so amazing. This is what our lives could look like if we built our lives with God. And now this all comes from the Bible. And Sophia, you're going to read a Bible verse for us, aren't you? Do you want to go and grab your Bible verse? Sure. Amazing. So we're going to read from the book of Psalms today, everybody. So we've been reading the Psalms, and it's like a big, giant songbook in the Bible. So these Psalms might have been sang once. But let's see what the Psalm is today. Let's listen up. Psalm 127, verse 1 to 2. If God doesn't build the house... The builders only built shacks. If God doesn't guard the city, the night watchman might as well nap. It's, it's useless to rise early and go to bed late and work your worried fingers to the bone. 
Don't you know he enjo enjoys giving rest to those he loves? Amazing. Thank you so much, Sophia. So good. So the Bible was saying, don't you know that God gives us rest? He protects us. He provides us provides for us and when we trust in him we can see those blessings in our lives so you guys and at home if you can think of something that god has provided for you in your life i want you to write it in the comments now for us you guys what has god given you what's the first thing that comes to your mind sophia if you go first my uh, well god has blessed me with a great and amazing supporting family amazing friends uh, a roof over my head and delicious food. Oh, I love that. Lots and lots of things, Matt. What about you? What's God provided for you? Friends. Friends. That's so good. So when God provides for us in that way, we feel protected by him. We know that he's with us in our day-to-day -day life. So there's two things that I want you to remember from today, and that's God protects and God provides. So whatever it is that God has provided for you at home, why don't you just say a prayer and say thank you God for and whatever God has given you. If you've got a roof over your head, if you live in a home, no matter what shape or size it is, God has been providing for you and he's been protecting you. So that is what we want to say thank you to God for today. We're going to have an opportunity to pray together right now. And if you have any prayer requests, make sure that you send them in to us. So if you have a thank you prayer or a please Jesus prayer, anything, why don't you write in the comments and we will pray over you. But right now, Sophia, you're going to pray for us, aren't you? Yep. Let's go, Matt. You ready to pray? Dear God, thank you for guiding us with when times are in need, Lord. We pray, we are thankful for the blessings you have given us with a roof over our heads, an amazing family, and great friends. Help us during further and more challenges during life that you will get us through it, through it with confidence and guidance. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. So good. Thank you, Sophia. Well, we have had so much fun for, with you guys today. I want you to remember those two things. God protects you and he provides for you. Yes, so good. So, Sophia, I think that's all we have time for today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you guys next time.